Ant societies like our own are susceptible to disease. They live in large, dense groups where the potential for pathogen outbreak is high. We know that some ants have the ability to produce antimicrobials and fight pathogens, but there was a big gap in our knowledge. We didn't know if all ants used antimicrobials to fight disease. So my colleagues and I tested antimicrobials from 20 species of ants. We found that some ants produce really strong general antimicrobials, but we were more surprised by what we didn't find. Ants are chemical production factories. They can produce antimicrobial compounds from internal glands, such as the poison and metapleural glands. The contents of these glands can be spread across an ant's body or directly deployed to combat infection. We tested the antimicrobial activity of surface chemicals from ants by measuring their ability to inhibit bacterial growth in a liquid culture assay. Here's how it worked. We started with samples of 5, 10, 20, and 40 ants. We extracted the surface compounds by soaking them in a solvent for 24 hours. Next, we loaded a test plate with the ant extracts and live bacteria in a liquid culture. To monitor contamination, we loaded another set of wells with just ant extract in our culture media. Finally, we loaded bacteria on their own to get uninhibited growth curves. We incubated the plate and measured bacterial growth over 24 hours. Uninhibited bacteria produce growth curves that look like this. We classified antimicrobial activity as inhibition of 90% of bacterial growth as compared to control wells. 10 of the 20 species we tested showed strong antimicrobial activity. The strongest activity was from a tiny subterranean species of thief ant. The surprising part was finding that 8 of the species we tested showed no signs of antimicrobial activity. We didn't expect this because others, using these same methods, found that social insects produce strong antimicrobials. Establishing the fact that not all ants produce strong, general antimicrobials helps us in refining our search for those species that could prove to be biomedically useful. A main reason my colleagues and I study ants is to figure out how they've overcome challenges that we as humans also face. Disease resistance is one of those challenges, and we still have a lot to learn from the ants.